Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a follow on tutorial on how to best print your digital kits. So first on it is how to print on thick card. Now I've got this um, card of the GSM just flashed up there, I do apologise. And when I print on this card it generally tends to skip, starts about a third of the way down when actually I want it to start at the top. A lot of you guys have told me that you have this same problem. So all I do before putting my um, cardstock into the printer is I just flex it a little bit and this makes it a little bit more flexible so when it's going around the printer actually feeds through properly. You might find that you might have to put one sheet or more sheets in depending on your printer so just test it all out. Number two is how to print multiple images. Now I did cover this in my last video. If you haven't seen the basics on digital kits don't forget to check that out. But to print multiple images on one page, you just select each one whilst holding the control key on your keyboard. And then all you do is you right click. So in this case, I'm printing all three of those, or four of those, sorry. You right click and you select print. And then you're going to select the one, the option that prints as many on one page as you've selected. So two, three, four, however many you've printed. And that really does just save you a lot of paper as well. So there you go, that's printing. And as you can see, that's how it comes out. So you've got lots of nice little images and it really saves you a lot of your paper or cardstock. Number three is how to crop out a single element. So here, I want to crop out the um, just the tabs or you might want the tickets or the banners. So all I'm gonna do is press edit and then it will give you the option to crop it down. So you're going to crop out whichever element that you want. So here I'm just cropping that out and then it will give you the option to save it as a copy. You can use any system to crop that you have. Um, so it really doesn't matter if you're not cropping it on um, the same system that I am. All you'll need to do is just edit and um, save it. And then all you do is you're pressing print and you're printing it to size. Obviously you don't want to print these tabs so large so you might actually want to scale them down. Just do it however you feel best based on the image that you're printing but that's how to print a single element. And it will then also save it again. So number four technically but it says number three is how to um, back back your images because you've just printed it on cardstock but it's actually white on the back so if you're going to include it as a journaling spot you might want to make the background match your journal. I just have this bag folder of um, scraps and I just save it all in there so I'll just pick anything out at random and I'm just going to stick it down and you can cut it out you can use die cuts to cut your background out you can cut it simply you can use pinking shears literally whatever you have to hand and then just distress around the edges if you're doing a, um, a vintage or a distressed look. And I'm going to just choose a slightly different background for this one. I chose some book pages but literally whatever you have back it onto scraps. Um, anything to add any interest or any coordinating bits and pieces. I try to do neutral colours here because this is Artie Main's nature themed junk journal kit. The link to this kit will be down in the description below if you do fancy having a go at the kit yourself. Don't forget to check out my previous video on the basics of printing, opening and downloading the kit, all that type of thing. I'll leave that in the description as well. So there you go, you've now transformed two bits and you don't have white backs. Number four is how to add additionals to the background. So you could sew on it, only if you have a sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could do the same type of idea, but you could use glue instead of sewing the um, journaling card on. And all I'm gonna do is distress around the edge because I really like my junk journals to be quite distressed. So I'm just gonna fray around the edge and all I've done is literally just pulled these pieces of fabric out of my scraps. I do just use my sewing machine and all I use is a zigzag stitch. I actually stitched it off camera um, just because my craft room's a total mess at the moment. So I'm showing you here that you can use one plain piece for the background or you can actually build up the background if you wanted to. Again, using all those tiny, tiny scraps. Um, 
it will really add to the feel of the junk journal as well. And I'm just adding cheesecloth. I decided to add that to the background just to add additional dimension. And here they are. I think they look fab, completing any junk journal. And number five is printing on tea or coffee stained paper. Now this is my own pre-stained um, just A4 pieces of paper. And all I do is sometimes my printer plays up. It likes to have three or four pieces of tea stained paper. Other times it might only feed one through, so just see what your printer wants. And all I do is tea stain, bake it in the oven and iron it and store it nice and flat. And it prints beautifully, especially if you don't have a double sided printer, it will mean the back isn't plain. Number six is how to print on index cards. This is fabulous. I absolutely love this. It will make your very own journaling cards. You can use plain index cards or you can use um, tea or coffee stained. And all you do is you find the image and you're just going to change the paper size. I can do this because my pa my printer accepts photo paper. So it has a separate tray where you can select photo paper. And all you do is you go to the printer settings in paper quality or it might be layout. You're just going to change where it gets it from. So yeah, it's in advance there. And see it si says size A4. You're just going to change it to the size of, of your tray if you have a tray within your printer and I just select photo tray and I just put my index card in the photo tray and it prints absolutely wonderfully I, I absolutely love doing this it makes your very own journaling card I think it's amazing make sure you're printing it to fit otherwise you'll have these blank lines either side to make sure it fills the whole of it and there we have it I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below bye